Hey guys, it's Casey and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a little different. It's nothing beauty related or fashion related, but I tend to get a lot of questions about the things that I use for my YouTube channel as well as my Instagram, like all the tech stuff. So I figured I'll make this really, really quick video just to tell you everything that I have in this room that I use to pretty much run my Instagram as well as my YouTube channel. So it should be a really, really fast and easy video. So I hope it helps you guys out in any type of way. So before we begin, you guys already know what to do. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And turn the notification bell so you are notified every single time I upload a new video. And let's go ahead and get started. So if you guys want anything super duper in depth like camera settings or how I edit on my Final Cut Pro and things like that please do not hesitate to ask this more so is just showing you okay this is exactly what I have and maybe like how I set it up if you will but if you want something in depth just let me know so kicking it off I feel like the best thing to do is talk about maybe the camera and the tripod which is on right now so I'm gonna go ahead and insert the clip of me showing you guys the camera as well as tripod. All right guys, if the quality of the video as well as the audio changed, that is because I am now using my phone because I wanna show you guys the camera and the tripod and I obviously cannot do that with the camera. I can't show you the camera with the camera in my hand. So this is the camera that I film with. This is the Canon EOS 90D. I did just get this camera during the summer, during quarantine and I absolutely love it. Um, it does have like the flip out screen which is perfect so I can see myself in case I'm not not using my laptop for whatever reason um absolutely love this camera it does shoot in 4k as well as 60 frames per second so basically 60 frames per second is self-explanatory that's how many frames is shot in a second which ultimately makes like slow-mos really really nice and typically i want to say 30 frames per second is like average so yes absolutely love this camera the quality is chef's kiss now this tripod right here is my i think it's pronounced faux pick tripod i got this off of amazon it will be linked in my amazon store so all you gotta do is check the description box of this video now i love this tripod because it can go super high where i can shoot um full body photos which i have all over my instagram which you guys will probably see in this video or go ahead and follow me on instagram and you can check them out so it goes really really high like these legs extend or whatever excuse the mess if you see a mess but these legs extend really high like i can open up this one and it would extend as well as this one um and i can adjust this too i can um pull this out actually and it becomes a monopod i believe is how you pronounce it i don't really know what that's for because i'm not a videographer or whatever but yeah um what i love about this tripod is the fact that as you guys can see i can shoot portrait so this is perfect for igtv videos instagram stories tiktoks things like that oh and the new instagram reels but it's also really really perfect for shooting content for my instagram like photos i prefer this way for any photos because i feel like the engagement is a lot better than square photos because it's covering up more of the screen when you're on instagram so people are more inclined to like really pause and look at it i don't know that could just be me mentally but i just think this way looks better however i'm gonna unscrew this and you guys are gonna see the camera's gonna like turn so unscrew it i can pretty much do whatever i want like i can do something overhead like this like i've done this for a nail video that i did for instagram obviously i can make it go up like this i can pretty much do anything i want as you can see it's like on a little ball and i could just turn and turn and do whatever i want and lock the camera however i need to lock it so i'm just gonna lock it because i feel like i'm just about to make a mess but yes yeah, so this is the camera and the tripod that I shoot with. So, as mentioned before, everything that I mentioned in this video is going to be linked down below for you guys. So I do wanna quickly just talk about the lens that I'm currently shooting with. This is the Canon 50mm 1.4 lens. So this lens does not zoom in or out. This lens is absolutely positively the best lens when it comes to doing portraits or any makeup pictures. Now, I am not a super techie kind of person, so I can't give you like specifics, but I know that I love to use this camera for anything makeup related as well as um, like hair texture shots and things like that. I am using it now because I'm able to step far back. So if you do not have a lot of room and wherever you plan on filming, then this lens might not be the best one for you because like I said, you cannot zoom in or out. This lens also is great for maybe shooting outside with someone if you're doing like fashion content. However, they will just have to be like far enough back. Like 
I couldn't use this lens to shoot fashion content in my room like that would not work so with that being said I'm gonna show you the lens that I do use for most of my fashion videos or anything where I just kind of needed to be not so up close and personal. <laughs> this right here is my Sigma 18 to 35 mm 1.8 lens. I really love this lens because it does give me that blurry background effect and I can zoom in or out. I've had this lens for quite some time. It is an amazing lens. It to me is not as crisp as the 50 um, 1.4 because something about that f-stop you know when it's lower like things become a little bit more crisp. Once again I'm not a videographer so I don't know specifics. I just know what I google and I'm like okay that makes sense to me. So um, it's not as as crispy as this but it is really really still really really good and still really really crispy and still very very expensive it's actually more expensive than the lens that I'm using right now but I love this lens for shooting any fashion content it is pretty heavy so I do want to say that I hate traveling with this lens but it is perfect for shooting any like fashion based content and things like that now you probably hear I sound crisp I don't sound like I'm echoing and that is because I actually use a mic to shoot my videos now a lot of the times you guys probably hear it because I'm always like slapping it I'm always doing like shit like this not paying attention but I love this mic so this mic is called the audio technica power module AT8531 I'm not too sure but you guys know I'm gonna put all the information in this video so you guys can check it out but I absolutely love this mic it hooks on to my clothes um, this can just go onto my pants sometimes if I'm filming without pants because that happens a lot I just put this on my table I hook this onto myself and we're good to go we sound nice and crisp hello 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 and I highly recommend that if you don't have a mic to get one because if your lens is auto focusing then you will notice you'll hear like a tick tick tick, tick like the adjusting sound in your videos and it's very annoying and your viewers do not want to hear that your viewers do not want to hear that tick 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 noise stop the shit okay so get you a microphone because once the mic is hooked onto you you are far away from the camera lens and you cannot hear anything but yourself okay i love it because it drowns out the rain sound because you guys know it's always raining for some reason um and it drowns all any noise that's outside and it's perfect i love to have a mic it just makes the quality of your videos 10 times better when you sound crisp and everything here besides my camera as well as the lenses is not super duper pricey I want to say my mic was like 150 there are a lot more expensive alternatives but there's also cheaper alternatives out there too you just kind of have to look around but once again I will link my mic down in the description box okay as you guys can see I am really really backlit right now um, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the lights that I use to film my videos because that is very important especially especially if you're doing any type of beauty content like makeup and hair you want to have great lighting okay so first things first I have a ring light that is like you know the typical <laughs> beauty content creator thing is having a ring light I've had this ring light for years this is a newer ring light that I got off of Amazon it's just on a tripod this one is dimmable as you guys can see you can turn it on it goes bright and then it can also hello hello don't be making a fool of me okay it can kind of go dim it's not like a super dramatic difference um, I do have this little filter thingy on top this just kind of softens the light I used to film without this and the ring light was just super duper harsh like it did not really look that good so I had to pretty much get something just to kind of soften it up so I got this and once again I got it off of Amazon it will be linked down below so as far as these babies concerned these really bright lights right here I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off but you guys can see it's super bright these are my faux Fovitech, Fovitech, I believe is how you pronounce it, bi-color LED light panels. So I have two of them, one right here and then one on the other side here. I really hope I'm in focus, guys. I'm not too sure. Am I in focus? I don't know because I'm backlit. It looks weird. But these lights are a lifesaver. I got them for only $300 and I'm saying $300 because two of them for $300 and not that at all. And it's called the bi-color LED lights because you have these warm light bulbs in it as well as these cool ones. And I can adjust it where if I want something more warm you guys can probably see the difference um, of what just happened and then I can like turn it more cool if I need to I prefer to do the more warm because I am a woman of color and I just feel like it looks really beautiful but most of the time I kind of keep it in the middle you can also 
adjust the lighting you can go light you can go dark you can go up and you can go down now in the back of this um it does have like a little screen so you can see what like percentage you're on um these also can run off of batteries now the batteries for it is really expensive but i don't take these to go so they just stay in my beauty room so they stay plugged up but yeah it's a really amazing light so i'm gonna go ahead and turn it off like that like so like that so yeah for the most part i use like a three-point lighting system sometimes i use five and when i say five i have these really small like uh soft box light kind of things that i keep behind me to add some dimension to my videos so for the most part i do keep my vanity light on which does enough for me so i don't use these as often as i thought i was going to use them but if you don't have any additional light behind you when you're filming you can just kind of get like two small lights place them behind you it's going to light up the back of you basically and you just look like you have a little bit more depth so i have two of these also got these from amazon these are like so many different weird angles and i know this video is probably really ghetto i'm just trying to film it pretty fast for you guys just so you can get a general idea of what i use to like film my content but this is my macbook my laptop and you guys can see it's like it's like a little effect going on. You see me all the way through. And basically the Canon cameras allow you to use your laptop as a monitor, which is absolutely positively perfect because I'm able to pretty much adjust my lighting, stop and start the video and just do all the, like the little things that I need to do without having to get up from my seat. I can just do it on my laptop. So that's why I love having a MacBook. And I think you could probably do it with any other type of computer but i know canon specifically has this program i don't know if like nikon or any of those other um camera companies has a program like this but yeah that's why i absolutely love canon because this just makes my life 10 times easier and the last tech thing that i would suggest for you guys to have is a remote this is the canon remote and i use this to shoot my photos on instagram so basically you can hook up your canon camera to your phone which is awesome you can definitely do that but the problem with that is the phones are so big so when you're trying to like hide the phone it's really really difficult to hide this is a really really small you know remote sometimes you see it in my photos but not really i can pretty much hide it for the most part in my hand and shoot the photo so it does have like an auto focus button so I could just press that take my pictures I don't have to worry about self timer getting up running back and forth and all that and because my camera does flip out then I just pretty much use the flip out screen as my monitor to make sure that I'm in the frame and yeah guys that is pretty much it I know this is like the weirdest angle ever but if you want to see anything more in depth about the things that I use to film please do not hesitate to ask and I would love to get that out for you guys once again everything is linked in the description box so you guys can check it out put it on your christmas list or whatever and good luck with your youtube channel your instagram your business whatever it is that you plan on doing with these products and i will see you guys in the next one bye